Hello, wonderful people. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm here to show you my fabric and lace book that I made. This is uh, the first time I've made something like this. My background is actually in uh, quilting and crazy quilting um, and some scrapbooking. And uh, so I thought I would venture over into mixed media and the videos I have found on YouTube have just been fantastic. So I want to thank all of you for being so inspirational. So this is called Matilda and Her Daughters. And Matilda is my great great grandmother. And she had nine daughters and three sons. And I am fortunate enough to have a photograph of all nine daughters. So uh, I thought I would do a fabric journal for them. So um, everything in here is hand dyed or stained, inked, whatever. Um, most everything in here is vintage or antique with a few exceptions. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm going to start. <laughs> so the beginning here, I have an old rusty key I put on here. Um, this is some lace that I own. It's white, and I just dyed it. This is actually, this was white as well. This is all dyed gray, but sometimes it came out blue, sometimes it came out gray. I don't know. Anyway, there's some cheesecloth here. Um, and uh, these metal pieces are not vintage. This is a very old hanky that had an M on it. I've been saving it to do something like this. So uh, the side of it is, this is some tatting, tatting that came off of a uh, pillowcase, a couple of them actually, and then just some seam binding here. And the back is a beautiful antique, um, I guess it's a doily. <laughs> uh, it's square and you don't usually see them square, so... Um, I thought it was perfect to go on the back. So, there you can see some of the laces there if I turn it long ways. And, yeah. Uh, I would say about 65% of the book is sewn and the rest is glued. In fact, I had to buy a hot glue gun for this project. I didn't even own one. So, this is some antique lace here. So, anyway... So, uh, page one here is, this is Matilda, and these are, I think, f six of her daughters and two neighbors, and they used to work at a uh, boarding house in a place called Beach Glen, West Virginia. This is taken about 1911. So this is this is an antique piece. This is some antique tatting, antique buttons, uh, some cheesecloth. I uh, made the uh, yo-yos. Um, this is antique. Uh, yeah. So the buttons are antique as well. The metal pieces in here are not antique, and neither are the beads. So the second page is Emma, her oldest daughter, who was a fabulous seamstress. Um, and this is Minnie Ann. Minnie Ann. Um, she helped raise my grandmother after her mother passed away. This was taken off of a, an antique, um, not an antique, but a vintage hanky. Um, this piece here is... Uh, Oh gosh, a table napkin, a vintage table napkin, and I uh, dyed it with Rit, um, the tan color. Uh, a little bit of buttonhole stitch around it, and this is not vintage, this is new. Some old tatting there. This is a uh, table runner. <laughs> so, I really hope you can see this. The shadows are kind of kind of dark. 
Um, so, and then this is Aunt Maud. So that's an antique button, and that's an antique piece of um, lace trim, some sort. And this is an antique doily. This is this came off of a hanky. I yeah. This is also a hanky that I uh, think I tea dyed this. These are antique buttons that I got at the antique mall. And so this is Aunt Laura. This uh, is a pin that actually belonged to my grandmother, so it's old, but I don't think it's an antique. Um, and the button is an antique. This trim here is not an antique, but uh, it was <laughs> my local bead store actually was carrying it, and they're just about out of it. I'm going to be really sad when they run out. So um, this is put on a uh, table runner that I dyed. It, in fact, it might be this table runner as well. Um, up here, some old crochet. And then the next page, this is, uh, this is Aunt Ida. And so, let's see. This is antique, and so is this, and this. Um, this cotton is not, I actually think I got that from Joann's, believe it or not. And the metal pieces and the beads are not antique. But the button is, this piece is, this is. I uh, did a little buttonhole stitch around it. And then this is Aunt Lola. Aunt Lola was the difficult one because she passed away uh, pretty young. And this is the only photograph I could find of her. And I actually got it off the internet, <laughs> off of uh, Ancestry.com. And so it's not, um, it's not a real great photograph, but anyway. This is an antique pin here from like the 20s or 30s. And uh, this piece of trim I got from a Facebook friend down in Kentucky. This is antique here. So is this. The metal pieces are not... They're not antique. And neither is this. <laughs> and so... Uh, this is Aunt Virgie, and this is Aunt Ethel. Um, these are some beautiful antique uh, tatting pieces around them. These are some antique buttons. There's more of that uh, trim from the bead store. <laughs> this is a very, very old button. I got actually from a button dealer. I think it's from the 1880s. Um, and then this is an old... Uh, this actually came off of a big tablecloth, um, and uh, that's antique, and I think this is too. Um, these little flowers are not, and neither is the, the eyelash trim. I love eyelash trim. I would put eyelash trim on everything if I could. And so the last page is Blanche Lamont. This is my great-grandmother. She was the youngest daughter. And um, this came from an old hanky that had a big, beautiful bee. And I've been saving it literally for probably 20 years. <laughs> I got it at an antique mall. Um, this is off of an old pillowcase. And this is an antique piece of lace and trim here. Um, and yeah, then that's... That's the back, and that's the end. So, um, this was absolutely so much fun to do. I cannot tell you. I was like an obsessed woman, you know. Er, like, after dinner, I was like, I gotta get in there. I gotta get to work on this book. <laughs> so I definitely plan on making more of them. I definitely plan on, uh, on joining the, um, crafting community on YouTube. I think you guys are amazing. You guys make beautiful things. You're an inspiration. And uh, so thanks for watching my video and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.